guys welcome to my channel my name is Samantha Rizundu and today we are doing a get ready with me I thought you know we're getting towards the end of the year so I kind of get a little bit reflective and I thought I could talk about what my plans are for 2024 goals personal professional just in general and I thought we could talk about it together while I put on some makeup but before I do that I wanted to talk about a fragrance brand that has come to Australia. It's been really, really popular in America. And when they emailed me that they are coming to Australia, I got so excited. Have you ever heard of Dossier? Dossier, they make what would normally be very expensive perfume, affordable, but at a still a really high quality. They are clean, they are ethical, they are long lasting, and they are affordable. So they were kind enough. I'm, this video isn't sponsored, but they did send me two fragrances to review and share with you guys. And they're also having a Black Friday sale, so I wanted to share that information with you. It is their biggest sale of the year, and if you are ever wanting to try Dossier, or even a, just in a really nice, affordable, high quality fragrance, now is the time for Black Friday. So I pick, got to pick out two fragrances, and I've been wearing them, I wanna say for the past month, so I've got a really good understanding of, or maybe three weeks, of what I think about these perfumes. So if you don't know much about Dossier, they are very well known for their fragrances are inspired by well-known fragrances that already exist. So I picked two fragrances that I've always wanted to own, but I can't afford them. This one here is called Powdery Coconut. So the Powdery Coconut perfume is inspired by the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. And when I tell you, I actually sell the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc at work and I love it and I wear it all the time. So I wanted to test to see if this one was similar. When I received this package, I smelt them in front of my husband and my jaw literally dropped because it smells exactly the same. Like, exactly the same. So, if I do I have any difference? I don't think there's a difference. I can't tell the difference and I'm pretty good with fragrance. Maybe this is slightly more powdery if I had to be really nitpicky, but honestly, they're so close, I don't see much of a difference at all. So the powdery coconut has top notes of cardamom, pistachio, bergamot, middle notes of ylang ylang, tuberose, and jasmine, and base notes of cedarwood, amber, benzoin, and coconut. To me, this fragrance it's like if you uh, want a summer fragrance, but it's still sophisticated. This is what this has, because it's got that powdery muskiness of it, but also it's got that coconut and ylang ylang. For me, I really smell that ylang ylang, bergamot, jasmine, and coconut, um, but as it dries down, the woody notes come out. It is just stunning. It lasts really well on the skin, and it is super super affordable so the next fragrance that i got is called floral marshmallow yum this is also an eau de parfum and this is inspired by killian's love don't be shy so in this one this one is more yummy gourmand just delicious let's go spray on this side and this one i wanted for more nighttime or when i just want to smell really feminine sexy and sweet oh, it's just so good and it just smells expensive so we have top notes of marshmallow neroli and bergamot we have middle notes of orange blossom honeysuckle jasmine and orris and base notes of amber vanilla and musk i think i picked well it was hard to decide because they have a lot of perfumes on their website to pick from um, and a lot of them are really well known fan favorite fragrances there is the um baccarat rouge the there's lots of joe malone tom ford there was even creed i think there was quite a lot to choose from the my way from amani some really nice popular ones there so definitely check out their website and i might even have a little peruse myself for the other ones that i wanted because these smell so identical and so good and they actually last I don't even think I need or have the desire to buy the originals anymore. That's how good it is. So now it's time to put a little bit of makeup on and we're going to start with some primer. So the primer that I'm going to use, it's actually really hot today and I've been sweating all day. Uh, this is the One Size Secure the Sweat 
dry till dawn primer so it's mattifying and sweat resistant and I haven't been wearing this since I bought it because it actually hasn't been that hot in Sydney but now it's starting to warm up so I didn't want to just waste this until I needed it and I feel like today I need it I think the cool um, that cool moment we had is gone i think it's only going to get hotter now and i'm not ready for it although i will be gone for a third of summer i'll be gone all of december but i'm going into heat i'm not going anywhere cool um if you don't know i am married my husband is from nigeria so we have never met his family and so we're finally going to nigeria for three weeks three and a half weeks and then a half a week to a week in Dubai. And um, we, he hasn't seen his family in eight years because of COVID, visas, uh, the whole, the, the process to become an Australian resident is hard, it is long, it is stressful, but we've made it. So we all have Australian passports and they all have Nigerian passports. I don't get one, so I feel a little bit left out there. But yes, we're finally going. To say I'm excited is an understatement. I'm excited to finally meet his family. I'm excited for the kids to meet their family. Um, the fact, yeah, so it's all going to be very exciting. I am going in with my L'Oreal True Match Nude. If you hear lots of noise, my kids are in the background playing with my mum. She's here visiting, so I can film this today, which is nice. So I'm actually going to the ballet tomorrow, which was my filming day. Um, I've been going to the ballet since I was a kid with my nan and my mum and my nan's sister. So like my auntie, my great auntie. Um, we've been going all my life, all my mum's life to the ballet. So that's what we're doing tomorrow, but it's my usual content day. So mum's here. So I said, mum, look after the kids. I need to make some content. <laughs> So they're having a good play in their room, but you might hear a little bit of laughter, which is all right. Gosh, this is so pretty. It's really sheer, so it's not covering my big shiner that I just popped before I went on camera. That was smart, um, but it's just so pretty. So most of the products I'm using today are from my everyday makeup drawer, and that's kind of usually what I do. Um, unless I've got something brand new, but I don't think I, I think I have one product that I haven't used before with me today, um, which is the Astralis Matte Finishing Spritz. But everything else I've pretty much used. <sighs> I just wanted to basically chat and put makeup on at the same time. I personally love watching Get Ready With, me, Get Ready With Me's, and I know you guys like it too. So I'm going to go with my Cossus Revealer Concealer in 01. I haven't used this in a while and I love it. I've actually finished one before. So this is my second one. It's one of those concealers I feel like I'll always have, but I need to use it because they do go bad because they're clean. And often clean beauty doesn't last as long because it hasn't got all the chemicals to keep it lasting longer. I mean, I'm not someone that has to wear clean beauty, but if the product's good, I'll use it. It's just like dewy with coverage, it looks natural. I mean, the hype is real on this concealer. I do think so. All right, so what did I want to talk about? My year ahead. Oh my God, I have so much I want to do. I have so many things that I want to change in my life. Um, and we're going to talk about it. I would love to know in the comments, as you're listening to me and watching me, I want to know what your goal for next year is. I did this last year. Um, but I've grown a little bit since last year. So last year I did this similar video and I asked you guys to write your goal for the future. And that can be really vague and broad or it can be really specific. But whatever you're comfortable writing, I would love to hear it. Because I think it's nice to hear, to have hope and to have something to work towards and look forward to. I think that's an important part of human nature to have. Um, so when I say goals, I don't necessarily mean like I have to achieve it or I'm a failure. More something that I just want to work towards. I should actually watch my video that I did last year and see what I said and see where I'm at. I would, I should watch that. That'd be quite interesting. I'm going to do the tiniest bit more on my little shiner here. It's, it's juicy. It's one of those ones that 
I've already popped twice and it just wants to keep coming back. I'm going to use my finger to get more coverage because the sponge soaks it up a bit. Right now, my goal is to get through this year. <laughs> That's goal number one is get through this year. Um, we're going to continue with cream products. I've got my DB Cosmetics Cream Bronzer in Sunny. This is quite creamy. I forgot how creamy it is. And I'm a little bit humid. Not so sweaty, but a little bit sweaty. I brought up Nigeria because that is, I'll be there for the end of the year. So even though I'm escaping this part of this summer, I'm going into other heat. But Vinny, my husband, said that it doesn't get as humid there like it gets humid here. Like, he said our summers are really bad. <laughs> so, I'm anticipating it to be hot, but not, like, insane like we get here. I've even got my friend offered to water my garden while I'm away. Because I'm really, I've planted everything out. And look, I know it's going to get a little bit out of control, but at least I'll have things planted. Because most things fruit in January, February anyway. Like, my watermelons are doing really well. But my fear is when I'm gone that they all dry out because I'm not here to water. So my friend has offered just water my garden for me like once a week. And I said, if it's like a really rainy week, don't worry. But if it's like super dry, I'd love for you to pop over. Just a little little hose down. I don't have irrigation. I That's too much for my brain and I live in rental. And then my mum's going to visit for Christmas. So she's going to check in on the house as well. So that is the one thing I'm concerned about is my garden because I've put so much effort into growing everything from seed, putting them in the ground. I've got lots of tomatoes. I've got capsicum, chili, beans, only two corn sprouted. So I probably won't get any corn spinach, cucumbers, zucchini, pumpkin, and I have two watermelon plants and they are thriving. So I'd be devastated if I lost those. Oh, I smell so good. Honestly, I smell so good. One's like sweet and sexy and the other one's like sophisticated, but still sexy. Whew, love it. Okay, let's go in with a little bit of blush. This is the Nudies matte from nude sticks in bareback now i bought this when i bought too many blushes all at once and i never use this one uh this one is super neutral we're going super neutral today the eyes the lips the cheeks everything yeah i knew i'd like this this is just such a perfect light blush we're going to do powders though because you know me love me powder but this has like a nice base or just to be worn alone on a creamy day. Love it. Um, my brows are the precisely my brow from Brent from bra from benefit. And this is in the shade 2.5, which is like my perfect color. I love it. There we go. And then I'm going to go in with my bronzer. I'm already sweating. This is not sweat resistant. <laughs> I get really sweaty like on my forehead. Okay, let's talk about next year. So I'm gonna go with my Hourglass Diffused Bronze Light, this one here. Next year, I have big plans. So my daughter goes to kindergarten next year. And so I'm reevaluating everything, honestly. Like it's always been really important to me and when I talk about my values and what I want to do with my children, there is absolutely no judgment. That's not me saying that I'm better than everyone else. It's just what I believe and what I would like to do. There is no judgment on what any other parent does. I just want to preface that because I think a lot of people get very opinionated when it comes to parenting, which is fine. But I'm just telling you what my goals and my values with my children are. I want to work, I've always wanted to work, but I also have this conflicting issue where I want to be there for my children when they need at the drop of a hat. I'm conflicted because school hours are not suitable for working. And I do know that there's before and after school care, but I just, I don't want my children to be in before and after school care. They already go to day, like they're already doing that in daycare. I just, school is so different. 
school is so intense on their mind and their body that putting them through a seven to five working day or an eight to 5.30 working day uh, before and after school makes me feel really guilty because their little minds need to rest. I also work and I don't work after nine and before finish, I don't start work after nine and finish before three. So I need to figure out with my husband what we're gonna do because I don't wanna quit my job. And I don't know, I don't know how to figure it out. But in saying that, I've got a little bit of powder I forgot to do. The By Terry Hyaluronic Powder. I just got a little mini from work, which was really cool. And I've got a little powder puff to apply it with. I've never used this, so it's brand new. And so that's something that I'm looking at changing or adapting to work around. That doesn't mean it's going to happen straight away. I might do before and after school care for a little bit until I figure that out. But... One of the reasons why I do this and one of the reasons why I started my business Fetch Bags is so that I could earn a living but still have flexibility to be able to be present for my children whenever they need. And that includes picking them up and that includes dropping them off at the regular school time. Being able to pick them up when they're sick I mean, we can still do that now, but it, it's a real hassle when you're working and, you know, they don't like it. It just becomes this, like, whole thing. And I know a lot of parents deal with this and you know what I'm talking about. I really, I think what I'm trying to say is my goal for next year is to be able to earn enough of an income to be at home and do my business from home and social media. When I say my business, I mean my social media and fetch bags. Because my idea is to be able to do both of them uh, simultaneously. And have the ability to drop having to go into a, a job per se. The challenge with that though is it's my social life as well. Like I get adult interaction. But I do find it really hard to manage working social media, fetch bags and being a mum. I do find it hard to juggle. Because it's like cleaning the house it is organizing everyone's life it is cooking every single night it's just it's a lot and i'm just dead by the end of the day i really am like i go to bed at like eight o'clock i'm not even joking because i'm just so tired and look that's just part of being an adult that's just life but i want to find a way next year to balance myself a little bit more so i think I think if I had to sum it up in one word, it would be balance, but also growth at the same time. I want to grow my brand, me in social media and fetch bags. I really want to grow. I want to grow to a point, it doesn't have to be a huge income, but I want it to be an income enough that it covers what I'm doing um, at Mecca and I can just focus on that. So balance, balance and growth. I think they're my two goals. I think that's it. I think this big holiday that I have at the end of this year is going to be my holiday. Gosh, this blush is pretty. I didn't even show you. It's from Moira. It's the ombre blush in a mellow pink. This is really affordable. I think you can, I think you can get it from Discount Beauty Boutique, but I also don't promote them anymore because they were doing some dodgy shipping or not, I should say not shipping issues. So, but I bought this a while ago, so. But it's a very pretty blush, as you can see. It's like a perfect neutral blush. Eyeshadow, I've got some basic eyeshadow, but still cute. Um, I might do a little bit of my highlighter first. I've got the RMS Mini Luminizer Quad. And I'm going to do this shade here that I'm trying to finish. Should I do it with a sponge? Yeah, I reckon I could do it. I might do both sides that what I just took. This is like very kind of sticky, glossy, but it is beautiful. But I've had it for a while and RMS is clean, so it's not going to last forever. It's going to go rancid at some point. So I really want to use it up. See how pretty that is? It's a really nice, natural, glowy. And I mean, you can definitely use this with your fingers too, but I just think 
that looks beautiful so for my eyes i've got the flower beauty petal play in gilded lily i haven't used this in so long it's like your ultimate basic girl eyeshadow and i'm here for it and then i think i'm going to use my hourglass scattered light in ray i've actually never used this before i got this from work i'm very keen to try it so let's start with the lightest shade and then we'll go to this shade and then this shade. I don't know if I'm going to use this. Let me swatch it. I'm going to see how we look. I might just use the Hourglass Shimmer, but we'll see. I do want to mention the sale that I had for my fetch bags, my business. I always have it linked down below in all my information um, section in the description like where I have my social media, I have my email, and I have my fetch bags business if you want to check it out. So I had this big sale and it, um, for the first time, I've had my business for a year now and it's been a hard year to get my name out there. For the first time, I actually made quite a lot of sales and I have to say a lot of it was from you guys. And so I want to say thank you. Thank you supporting me not just watching my videos but like you like went and you spent your own money on my product and that means so much to me like every time my phone went off so Shopify when you get a sale it makes a cash register noise it goes ching ching when I tell you that's the most glorious sound I could ever hear because it means that someone has bought my product it makes oh, I can't really explain it. It's like literally the one thing that makes me so happy. It gives me so much satisfaction. Um, so anyway, the sale did really well. And I just want to say thank you to all of you who did buy from my sale. I just love you guys so much. It's giving me mentally that motivation that I think I can do this. Because I was at a point where I was like, if no one wants, if no one wants my bags, then what am I going to do? Like, you know, like it's a big risk starting a business financially and just mentally. It's a lot of work. Anyway, so this sale really re-inspired me and got me excited for next year. Honestly, I'm so excited for next year. I'm going to do more, more prints. Less crazy prints. I know, like, I wanted to start my brand with a bang. Everything's really colorful and different. You know, I don't want to just be like every other brand. Um, you can buy a reusable bag from Woolies for, what, $2 or something, but it's not good. It's small and it rips. My bags are big and they don't rip. So, but convincing the world of that is another story. <laughs> But I wanted to start with something fun and different, something that's not out there. And that's a risk in itself. Doesn't this look pretty? This already looks so pretty. But now I've been getting a lot of feedback that people want more neutral and more patterns. So the sale that I did, the most bags that I sold were the new bags that I just released, which is the heart print and the flower print. So I'm going to ride with that. I'm going to do more prints and they're going to be, I'm not going to say less colorful, but softer. I'm going to do softer prints. So maybe more of a basic print, like maybe like a gingham style kind of print, things like that. So what I'm trying to say is I'm excited for next year and that's where I'm excited for the growth. And hopefully word of like all the people that bought these bags and gifted them as presents because uh, I know a lot of you guys bought them to gift as presents um, hopefully that word of mouth reaches and then those people buy more bags and then though you know what I mean like that trickle on, on effect so that looks really pretty and I'm gonna get the hourglass in Ray I'm going to start with a brush, but I think I'm going to end up using my finger. I think it's just going to pick up better. Yeah. It's so pretty. These are some of the nicest single shadows you can get, is the Hourglass Scattered Lights. 
I also have burnish, but it's like more of like an orangey brown. Whereas this is like perfection. The other one I wanted to get was the green one. Is it called Vivid or something like that? That is stunning. That is stunning. My latest obsession is this mascara from Lounge Face Lash. Ugh. So I wore this this morning. It's afternoon now. And then I wiped all my makeup off to just put it back on again because I'm loving it. This is a silicone wand. It looks kind of chunky, but it works magic. The way it curls my lashes, like lifts and curls my lashes. Now this is a tubing mascara, which means that it is removed with warm water. Like you rub your eyes with warm water and they come off in little tubes. So it does not smudge, it doesn't flake. It's the perfect mascara. Great for people who deal with smudging. And it's such a pretty mascara. Like if I looked at this wand, I'd be like, oh, I don't think so. But using it, I love it. It gives volume, it gives lift, it curls my lashes. It's a good, it's a goodie. Stunning. We're gonna get a little bit of my Emco Beauty Clear Brow Gel to set my brows. So yeah, that's kind of my uh, goals really is to grow my business, grow my social media, namely, my, mm, I prefer YouTube. If I didn't have to do TikTok, I wouldn't. I just love YouTube, but TikTok is where my growth is, you know? You gotta do what you gotta do. And then for lips, my lip liner is the Ulta 3 in Nude. And then find balance in my life. So I think this holiday is going to help me balance because I haven't had a holiday in years. I haven't had a break in years. And I basically won't have to cook and clean for a month. And I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. I think I'm going to be rebalanced just from that. <laughs> and then for my lips, I bought the beautiful Cossus Wet Stick in Baby Rose. It is the perfect. Perfect lip. If you like pinky nudes, it's perfection. I love it. I feel like I look really sophisticated for someone who's not going anywhere. I am going to go to Aldi and get some $3 wine. And I'm going to look good doing it. That is the video, guys. I just want to remind you of the Dossier Black Friday sale. Check out my link below um, to see the discounts. You will not be disappointed, and I truly mean that. If you love fragrance, or maybe you don't like no fragrance, but you want to try a fragrance, but you don't want to spend $300, that's the one. So that completes the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, you got to tell me what your goals are for next year in the comments. I would love to hear. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.